Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy David from the Free Play Mode, aka D-Man for Life. And I am coming at you with a tutorial video on how to actually play Fire Pro Wrestling World. And I know some of you are new to the series or, or have only simmed matches and are interested in playing the mission mode in order to gain more edit points as well as unlock moves. So you're going to actually have to play this game and I'm going to walk you through step by step with a detailed tutorial on how to play this game. So without further ado, let's get into it. As you can see here, I have a controller represented on the screen so you can see every button press that I do so you won't get lost. And the first button we're going to talk about is your movement and that's just your simple D-pad movement here and it is eight-way directional movement forward, back, up, down, diagonally. So this is basic movement. You can also use an analog stick to do the same thing as you can see represented on the controller here but it's your preference and I prefer the d-pad so when you hear me talk about movement it's always going to be with the d-pad in mind if you prefer to use analog stick keep that d-pad motion on your brain with the analog stick so first face button we're going to talk about now is your X button and your X button or whatever the corresponding button is on your PlayStation controller if you're using a PlayStation controller is your light attack button. The next button we're going to talk about is the A button and this is your medium attack. An interesting thing is with medium attack if you're creating a wrestler you can also map a light attack to it. So it's entirely up to you. The next button we're going to talk about is your first heavy attack and that is the B button by itself and just like with the medium attack button when you're creating a wrestler you can map a weaker move to it you can map a medium attack or a light attack to your heavy attack buttons and your second heavy attack is the any direction on the d-pad along with the B button at the same time and your final heavy attack is the X and A button at the same time. So let's run through those very quickly one more time. Light attack, medium attack, heavy attack one, heavy attack two, and heavy attack three. The next button we're going to talk about on the face button is the Y button. And the Y button is your run. As long as you're not on the central line, which is the center of the ring, which allows you to move forward and backwards like this, you can run in 45 degree angles. When you are on the central line and you run, you run towards the east and west posts. So 45 degree angles, not central line, central line, left and right posts. You can't run up and down towards the north and south post. You can only move towards them via walking using the D-pad or analog stick. The next button we're going to talk about is your breathe button. And what the breathe button does is allow you to regain stamina. Stamina is very key in this game because any action you take require stamina, be it running, moving, getting in and out of the ring, or doing moves. So your breathe button is your left bumper button. And as I said, this allows you to regain stamina, but you do not want to overdo it because like in real life, if you sleep for too long, you wake up and you don't feel rested. So the same principle applies here. And the final button we're going to talk about is the right bumper button and that is your 3D movement button. What the 3D movement button does is allows your character to move in 3D movement. So to move in 3D movement you press the right bumper button in any direction on the control pad and different directions do different things. So pressing forward on the control pad makes your character move in a counterclockwise direction around your opponent. 
pressing back on a control pad moves your opponent moves you in a clockwise motion around the opponent now holding down the 3d button and pressing up moves your character moves your character toward your opponent and 3d button and down moves your character away from your opponent in a straight line so up forward in a straight line back back in a straight line so that's it for movement while standing now grappling is very simple and very complex at the same time it's a timing based system and in other wrestling games out there you initiate your grappling via a button press when you're close to the opponent this one is kind of simple in that it hails back to the old school days of pro wrestling for the NES and all you do if you remember that game is walk into the opponent and that's how you initiate a grapple you just simply walk into your opponent and how you actually time the grapples in order to do moves is a little bit complex it's timing based there are two cues you can pick up on in order to get that timing the first is the visual cue and what I mean by that is when you grapple an opponent you, you lock up like in actual wrestling so as soon as you lock up you want to press the button watch it again it's very timing based boom the second cue is the audio cue and what I mean by that is it's something you listen for first one was visual second cue is audio so when you lock up listen for the sound that I'm about you hear the foot stomp that's the audio cue that I'm talking about it's a foot stomp as soon as you hear that you want to press the button so foot stomp boom foot stomp boom so there are two cues you can use as a reference point for the timing in this game the visual one being the grapple itself the audio one being the foot stomp I prefer the foot stomp because it's easy to pick up on you hear it very quickly and that's how you do your grapples and to do grapples in this move the this game is very simple like it's directions on the pad and your buttons just like striking X is your light grapples A is your medium grapples and B is your heavy grapples and also X and A is also a heavy grapple and just like the strikes you can also map lighter grapples to your heavy attacks and same with the medium attack button you can map a light grapple to your medium attack and you can map a medium attack to your heavy attack buttons to throw an opponent to the ropes you just grapple hit that Y button and that will swing him to the ropes now to throw an opponent to the east or west post they have to be on that center line and you just do the grapple and throw them to the ring post the next button we're going to do is grapple and your RB button which is your 3D movement button and what that does is put the opponent in a front face lock and then when you press a button you execute an elbow strike or a knee strike depending on the type of wrestler you have so grapple 3D button this is good for moving the opponent around the ring for positioning the next thing we're going to do is we're going to show you how to throw an opponent out of the ring. To throw an opponent out of the ring, there are two ways in order to do this. 
The first way is through the middle rope and you just initiate the grapple and throw them out via the Y button. And that throws them clear on out of the ring. The second way to do this is over the top rope and the way you do that is you initiate the grapple and you press the Y button and the 3D button which is your right bumper at the same time. And that throws them over the top rope. And depending on how weak they are, they'll go clear on over the top rope or they'll land on the ring apron. Going over the top rope is good for your over the top battle royals where this is a rule so keep that in mind when you're deciding which way you want to throw an opponent out of the ring. Now to get onto the post you simply walk to the post and you hit the X button. One. And to get down without doing a move, you hit, simply hit down. So, up to the post, and getting down. And depending on the character, they can run up to the post and jump on the top turnbuckle. And that's depending on the stat you have in your skills on the creator wrestler. I don't have that stat for AJ Styles, but that's usually reserved for smaller, quicker wrestlers. And finally, to actually do top, uh, turnbuckle moves, you have to swing the opponent to the turnbuckle, and it's timing based. Well, we're not going to get into that, but you get the idea. And that is it for the how to play this game. And I hope you enjoyed learning how to play this game. I hope you are successful in playing the mission mode. Let me know how I did in the comment section below. This is David from the free play mode, aka D-Man for Life, signing off. Hoping you have a good evening. Peace, folks. I'm out.